how do you get into the EU? I've come to Mini Europe in Brussels to find out. First, a country has to fulfil some pretty fundamental criteria. They were written here in Copenhagen in the 90s and say that a country has to have stable institutions, the rule of law, respect for minorities and a fully functioning market economy. If a country broadly measures up, it becomes a candidate. Then it's put under the magnifying glass during intense negotiations where the EU tells it what reforms have to be made. Finally, there's an enormous treaty. All of this takes ages. Just ask the ambassador for the most recent arrival, Croatia. It started in 2000 when there was an opening towards the EU perspective of Croatia. Our formal application to become a member was submitted in 2003. The negotiations as such started in 2005 and they ended in 2011. And we entered the union in 2013. So I would say it's, it was 13 years of hard work and personal sacrifice. But in our case, 13 ended up being a lucky number. And inevitably, politics come into it. For example, EU officials wanted to delay the accession of Greece, but they were overruled by the politicians. The expansion into Eastern Europe in the early 2000s was championed by Britain. Others weren't so welcoming. Which reminds me, the UK's membership was originally vetoed twice by the French. And while we're now potentially ambling towards the exit, there are plenty of countries who'd love a spot in mini-Europe, like Albania. At the end of this process, we will see that we have transformed ourselves, our standards of living. Uh, we will see that our industries and the other sectors of economies, the economy they will have um, will be better placed to benefit from the possibilities that the, for example, uh, single market, European single market offers to them. Is it true Tony Blair is advising you? Uh, yes, uh, Tony Blair and his team will advise the government of Albania uh, during this period and we are glad uh, to have their advice and their support also um, in our advancement vis-a-vis -vis European integration. Despite the star power, the ambassador won't bet on when Albania gets a seat at the table. Some people say enlargement is the EU's most successful foreign policy because the lure of membership encourages countries to develop. Others fear that Europe is becoming quite the opposite of this place. Far too big.